Governor Raimondo has stepped on to the national stage, introducing herself to the country as President-elect Joe Biden's nominee for Commerce Secretary. A big topic of her speech earlier today was her role with manufacturing jobs. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt spoke with two people who work in that industry here in Rhode Island. He joins us with how they think Governor Raimondo's report card holds up in the Ocean State. I spoke to the owner of Taco Comfort Solutions and the president of Vibeco, two companies that manufacture products in Rhode Island. Both say that they are happy for the governor, but are well aware of the criticism she's received in the last 24 hours. Rhode Island's governor seems to be on her way to Washington, joining President-elect Joe Biden's incoming administration. For Secretary of Commerce, I nominate Governor Gina Raimondo. Governor Raimondo introduced herself to the country by explaining her family's history in manufacturing, letting Americans know how she'll enforce the Build Back Better agenda. It's a vision for rebuilding American manufacturing and bringing back jobs to America from overseas. To see how she's done with manufacturing jobs in Rhode Island, I checked with local companies. John Hazen White owns Taco Comfort Solutions in Cranston. He says COVID had its challenges, but that the newly nominated Secretary of Commerce met them head on. Getting through this last year has been very significant because, uh, Rob, we, we've all been, we've had, to, we've had to rebuild our businesses from the inside out to be able to keep people employed. The Republican Governors Association criticized Biden's decision to pick Raimondo for his cabinet, saying Rhode Island has been one of the worst states for business under her leadership. Carl Waddenston is president of Vibeco, which manufactures industrial vibration equipment. At first, he was surprised to find out that Governor Raimondo would be leaving her post at the State House. I think we should hold her accountable to make sure she takes care of the Rhode Islanders if we're going to give her a pass on leaving in the middle of a pandemic as a leader. As secretary for the Rhode Island Commerce Board, Waddenston has worked with Raimondo on a number of issues. He says the governor has the skills necessary to improve commerce in all 50 states. She knows how to connect people. She knows how to pick up the phone and call people. President-elect Biden also announced Boston Mayor Marty Walsh as his pick for labor secretary. That nomination, along with Governor Raimondo's, will both need to be approved by the U.S. Senate. Reporting in studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.